Hey everybody, Lieutenant Arex here. Today I'm going to try something new and record an attempt at the Passporto. Passporto. I don't know how to pronounce it, I never will. Uh, a speed run where we're going to try to go through the minimalist um, pathway. And so, I don't know, my goal is one, see if I can improve on the world record, but also just do a little commentary track um, just in case, you know, serve as a guide in case someday. Someone else actually wants <laughs> to speed run this, this silly game. So anyway, let's uh, hit new career and start the timer. Boop. All right. So right away here, we're going to be jumping into Act 1. And there are several branching pathways in this game, depending on what type of art style you draw and what type of people you draw to. So early on here, we're going to be selling to the punks and the punks like chaotic crazy colorful expressive painting so what we're going to be doing here i'm already kind of messing up uh talking and drawing at the same time pretty challenging is we're just going to throw a lot of paint on they like things drawn quickly with high brush speed and a lot of color variety and this one i'm not going to spend very long on at all because as soon as I place my first painting, we will actually get uh, people, or you know, I call them critics, walking around. And each different character has, and we are always, uh, we'll explain Benjamin in a little bit, has their different taste uh, in terms of what they're looking for. Uh, and again, we're selling to the punks who like this kind of chaotic art style. Um, I accidentally did blue, so I'll wipe that out. Even amongst the punks, they have some unique taste uh, in terms of color and things like that. For the most part, though. It is not really worth worrying about, um, you know, trying to sell to one specific punk if you, you make something with a bunch of different colors uh, and the punk doesn't like it, another punk will like it. So there is one of the punks you saw just walking around with the blue hair. And you can see they, they very much like it. And so you can see there's a couple different options. We can try to hit this bargaining button to uh, increase, uh, kind of haggle, if you will, uh, the, what price we're going to get, and but that can be risky because it can also go down. And so we're just going to sell. So this is basically going to be the first uh, 19, 20 minutes of the game is I'm going to be drawing as quickly as I can a bunch of just nonsense. And I'm going to try to finish up this one because the, th the biggest RNG of this game is that sometimes the punks don't show up where you might take a bunch of time for them to show up. Because as you can see, there's other types of critics, but the only ones we want to sell to are the punks. So I'm going to try to get a painting down before I accept it, so possibly she'll, she'll look at my other painting before she wanders off. She did not, but it, it was a good idea. And at this point, throw in some pink here. Um, this is basically the gist of the first section, is just scribbles. Um, there's a couple colors, depending on which one you're talking to, they have different colors that they kind of like just will not buy anything with, like some of the browns and purples. So just to play it safe, I just stick to kind of the colors you see here, the reds, oranges, yellows, and lime green. Works out pretty well. And uh, besides that, kind of the only weird... Um, kind of trick or I, I would say just kind of like tension to the speed run is the idea that the l more time you take on a painting this is true for almost any style I think in the game the more it's going to be valued so in a speed run do you draw every painting as fast as possible um, so you can sell more or do you you know sit a little bit so that it sells for more what's which do you got to go slow to go fast? And I don't actually have a good answer for that. Um, like exactly, like where's the sweet spot between speed and going slow so you overall sell faster? I do not know. So this Benjamin, mother effer, I actually should have clicked him earlier. Benjamin uh, is a pest. He is in all the acts of the game, and he does not progress you towards any one of the pathways. He just always shows up and offers you a seven or ten dollars or whatever the unit of currency is for this game uh and he's just a pest he's just he's just a monster i'm gonna try to spend a little bit more time on this one get some color density up 
That's cool. Because we already have at least one painting out there to catch a punk, so we're not wasting any time. And uh, yeah, that's that's honestly, that's uh, that's kind of uh, that's it. Let's put some different colored backgrounds in here. Um, there's really, you know, I, there's there's some more science that needs to be done in terms of figuring out exactly what they're looking for. You know, can I get away with thicker lines that we don't have to have as many smaller ones? Which one gives you the highest exact score of what they're looking for? Uh, I don't I don't have all the answers, but I do know more color is more good. Like, let's try this one. See how this looks. So what we're trying to do is get a nice row for the punks to go down the line. And I believe for this act one, we're trying to sell 600 gold total. So again, I see he's a pest. 41 cents. See, that's we're going to wait for Benjamin to move out of the way of the other painting. And really, as far as I could tell from experimenting and looking at some of the game files where it kind of lists some of this criteria, it's just color variety, like lots of pockets of different colors. Is there a way, the better way to do that than just zigzagging crazily? Almost certainly, but uh, this is this is what I know. It hurts your arm. That's for sure. But uh, as you'll see, we'll make up for that in part two. And I've kind of developed this thing of just throwing some background color. Probably not brown. I don't like browns. Just background colors because, again, it, I think it's looking for variety of colors mixed in. Like, it's looking for colors broken up by other colors. Now, if you read a lot of the guides for this game online or on Steam, I want to try avoiding what uh, I just did. There's lots of kind of unscientific guessing about what the different criterias are, what they're looking for, um, and I've tried to do some scientific rigor in terms of actually, you know, working on the variables and figuring things out, but we're just gonna, you know, maybe we'll spend some time on this one. Oh, so you can see there's a, there's different kind of ha uh, checkpoints where you see in the corner that the Expressionalist people are liking us, the punks are liking us. And those kind of guide you about how far you are, but we're not going to really pay attention to it too much. And here, I lost a minute because I was looking at my dog. But he's pretty cute, so I don't really... No real regrets. 59, okay, I feel like we took a little bit longer on that one. And we're rewarded efforts so they, they like you to go fast but in general it's just a common factor the game assumes you're doing a better job if you're spending a longer time which which makes some sense right uh, and I'm quickly realizing for this commentary <laughs> there's for this first section really not much to talk about that's okay we might just do some I'm muttering, or maybe I'll go through and I'll just mute my talking for the rest of this time, because maybe there's not too much to add. Maybe we can end up doing this one really quickly. I don't know. So you can see, very chaotic. Let's probably get this one down just so we have something. But you can see at this point, we just have old men. So there's a punk. The old men we do not want to sell to. That will not get us where we need to go. If I do AGG, AGDDQ, I gotta like, I need a good couch of people to carry uh, this conversation. So 64, you saw that a very high price for this point of the game. Okay, here's something to talk about. We, do, we have a spray paint tool. Um, spray paint tool is kind of what you imagine if you just kind of think about a Microsoft Paint or whatever you've used, you know, your whole life just your generic paint program. Uh, I haven't honestly messed with it too much. Like, I've had some success. Uh, it's been a little bit more hit or miss with me if the Rebels will like it, and, and I don't fully understand um, 
what's good and what's bad when they're looking for it. So we're just going to stick to what I know, which is horribly doodling a bunch of scribbles for a good long while. see these old men just do not want it so I, I guess one thing I can actually touch on here ahead of time before the next section is the idea of originality so there's a way the game will judge how similar your paintings are to similar or you know paintings that you've done earlier in the game um, and I don't know exactly how it works um, there's a lot of kind of misconceptions out there and, and guesses. 74. Okay, I'm thinking slow is fast here. Obviously, we never give our paintings a name because that would be slow. Oh, please look at the next one. So you can see that that's a problem. Sometimes they just kind of frick off. And then, you you know, you just got dead air here. But this is why I think it's, it's okay to go slower to go faster because you're going to have dead air anyway and then you might as well have the paintings for when they do show up be worth more because that'll ultimately get you to the end so because we do have to sell i believe i've done some testing and i don't have exact numbers but around 1600 to move on to the next act i believe is correct but we'll we'll find out yeah so about originality um 65 is okay the way i think the game judges it at least in the second part where it matters, is it's looking for what colors are in which location. Which location. So people have some really funky ideas reading the guides online. Like it doesn't know, it's really hard to train a computer to recognize shapes. It's just looking, did you put a big blob of this color in this same part of the canvas as you did last time? Um, <clears throat> so when we get to that part, we're gonna be mixing up where the colors are and you know, basically you're mixing up the colors and you're mixing up where they're located on the canvas. You can see Benjamin there possibly cost us some time because he was using up only one NPC can look at a painting. So he was kind of blocking it. 85 is very high. I kind of want to gamble, but I don't think it's worth it. The cool thing is, again, in the crazy world, that's never going to happen that this becomes a competitive speedrun game perhaps the gambling meta the the bartering meta will be will be strong we're gonna spend some time maybe get like a 90 80 or 90 cost thing here the mouse pad is wet that's not conducive we've been actually pretty lucky uh i can play i've had a couple runs or my current world record run world record he said in quotes for a <laughs> an uncontested game uh, has a lot of just dead air where we just could not. That 66 is low. Uh, it was just a lot of dead air. Oh, someone's taken. Okay, we're 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 going through this pretty quick, which is, of course, the goal. I cannot wait until we get to the minimalism part because that is going to be. Maybe I'll put timestamps. There's not too much left for me to talk about, so I'll probably put timestamps for each act because the second part is when you start doing minimalism, and that is the part that gives everybody hell. Love the lime green. We gotta get a painting out there, huh? No title. Of course. Title does not impact anything as far as I can tell. 71, we're getting back up there. And again, I think it's literally just color variety. So I'm throwing some big background colors that show up. And then we're just using our regular stuff and I, I think I could probably like slow down on hurting my arm going as fast as possible because again I, I don't want to actually finish the drawing super quickly because then you know it might just sell for 50 or something but again we're gonna have to do some like complicated math to figure out what's the combination of fast and slow that that gets this done and again I will admit this is probably the part I spend the least amount of time trying to figure out because just casually beating the minimalist part is so dang difficult. I spent a lot of time actually kind of workshopping that and what they're looking for. We're at 14 minutes. If I could get out of here in 20, I would be pretty happy. But yes, the minimalism part. It's quite fun, and that's why I, uh, 
enjoy this game because I, I got this to play with just with a friend and we basically would use it we just use we, we didn't worry about progressing we just hung out on discord and would send each other our, our dumb photos back and forth and you know you could just do that with Microsoft Paint, but you, you make you gamify something and you, you encourage people, the dopamine responses go off and you get a good price for a painting and it, it just, you know, it tricks you into being invested. And so we, we never progressed. And then when I found out there's all these different pathways, I thought it was really cool because the game encourages you to like explore. It generally like teaches you to like, hey, paint in different ways. And, and sure, it's like robots grading it, which, you know, isn't real and, and stuff like that, but I think it's just neat. Okay, so if you remember, we had a couple different messages at the top as we we're going through, um, like someone is interest. So the next message we're looking for is someone's gonna visit soon, then we will be pretty close. So we, you, you remember earlier I was talking about droughts? I haven't seen a punk in a while, one just showed up. Thankfully, but you can get these long stretches of time I think on one of my records, maybe not my current world record, but my like 134 time or whatever, um, there's a part where I had all of the pallets filled and I just was standing around just like, you know, Pulp, pulp Fiction meme, just like looking around like, uh, where? Where are they, please? Maybe we'll just, like, we're, we're starting to fill up. If we can get her going down a row, 91 is very good. Okay, you see I was <laughs> minion blocked. 86? Oh, this is fine. See, and now he's blocking that last one. So she couldn't check that out. Not that she necessarily would have, but I still feel pretty uh, bummed out about it. It's just more zigzags. You really don't have, if you're doing this casually, you're not trying to worry about speed. Just have fun with it. Just like you, you can, you, you don't have to make it complete nonsense. You can add in. Oh, they don't. Sometimes they don't like this color. You can add in shapes and stuff, but just lots of color variation, like lots of fast strokes. It actually measures that, and um, just um, just have fun. Make it chaotic. Uh, with the colors and stay away from from dark colors uh -huh. Benjamin get up let's get some more polarized yeah, zip, zip. yeah I got, I got, I'm drawn towards not quite the thinnest color but not really sure. buy please huh? let's gamble huh? 98 okay we increased it slightly so if I okay we're still a couple of descriptors away so we will not be it doesn't look like we'll be doing a sub 20 which would be fantastic but yeah, you can see she just kind of walked through and uh, totally I'm just gonna sit on this one. Let's do a little experimenting live. Ah. Let's give it some time. Okay. Yeah. Which again seems opposite. I, I I forget how fast my last one was in terms of getting out of one. I've got some good strats for the next one, so we'll mm -hmm. stick around. Benjamin, get out of here. So you can see the old farts, they like calm and chaos. They kind of go more towards a, um, I forget what the, the pathway was called. So I, maybe like thicker lines, we can get away with less back and forth, which can save us on the carpal tunnel. Yeah, this is, so you can see, right now there's a little bit of bad luck, just because there's no punks around. But the, but w will there ever be a period where I really, if if I fill all of these up, 
with paintings, then it's really bad. But if one, you know, like if this punk comes in and just wham bam, thank you, ma'ams, all of these, please don't look at on the painting. See, she might have looked at that painting if he wasn't there. person can appraise a painting at time. It's just the rule of the land. It's funny I mentioned Pulp Fiction. I think in the back of the shed there's like a Pulp Fiction reference. It's called like Pup Fiction or something in the back of my little painting area. Keep an eye out for that. So we're at 20 minutes. I feel like it took me 25 or half of an hour. Hey, let's get some punks in here. 97. The bids are going pretty high, which is good. You know what? I should hit sell her right now before someone else comes to look at the other things. Oh, and she just took off, dude. Yeah. This is looking like it might not be a world record run. But, you know, Passporto... Passport... Is that, uh, my friend keeps telling me how to say this properly in French. And I forget. It's kind of a relaxing game, so you know, I feel like if you're speedrunning this, you gotta still have a relaxed attitude, right? Like we're This is this is just a fun time. Sprinkle some lime green in there. Like a Bob Ross attitude. But yeah, we are getting to the point point where we're just like Maybe I'm gonna have to learn about optimal placement like maybe if i place one down here that encourages her to walk over spend more time shopping i don't know mm -hmm. at this point i think we can afford to go slow since there's no rush anyway i don't know what she's doing over there <laughs> yes oh look at that 141 yeah okay okay so if we are like maybe a 200 gold away from getting this guy to just show up. So at this point, definitely feels like punk RNG, because if she would have just rapid fire bought a couple of those, we would be very much in the clear. So hopefully some punks make their way over. There's a punk. Gonna drop one here. I might keep her around if Benjamin is going to make a play. He's not. Just buy one of these things. Okay, actually, so this is where I have the um, music turned off because I was getting copyright claims. And I, I just wanted to, like, thought I might get in the way of the commentary. Um. This is where it's actually at a disadvantage to have the music off, and I'll tell you why. When the critic comes, he the music will stop. So if I'm working on a painting, they're just waiting for me to finish, and then the critic will come. So, yeah, the critic's not going to come yet. So if the music is on and you hear it just suddenly disappear... That means you've you're moved on to the next mission. The game's just waiting for you to finish your painting, so it can move you on to the next area. So we're at 23 again. I think we're one or two paintings away. With a little bit of better luck, we could have gotten close to a 20. Maybe who knows? Come on, look look at that. Again, I'm going to try to get this up before in case I'm already there. Sell. And are we frozen? No, probably one more. Okay. He disapproves. But uh, even though things got a little unlucky, I hope you can see the stratagem. Okay, let's... Okay, I guess I was farther away than I thought. <laughs> so maybe... Not cursed by RNG, I was just wrong about... How it all worked. Mm -hmm. 
Let's get some colors, man. Okay, I have an Excel sheet where I've kind of tracked the data over a couple runs of how this works. Maybe if we just have a smack in phase two, you know, who knows? This looks good. Just let's let's get. Okay, this punk this punk could could save the day. If she if she purchases, it could it could. Sh did you, did you see that, fellow friends? She just walked in and left. She was just if you're gonna be a window shopper, oh, there she is. Ah, we did it. All right, 25-11 on the phase two. I think that's on pace with what I did before. Get out of the way. Hmm. Let's see. Okay, we're going to have the banter engines are online. We wait for her to leave. We will embrace passion. We are on to act two. So this is, a, again, a diverging pathway. There's two different groups of people we could please. There's some, like, older dudes, and there are the minimalists, which are these snobby little dorks, which I adore. And so we are doing the minimalist pathway. What are minimalists looking for? Minimalists are looking for a couple different things. They are looking for highly original pieces. So that is, in this case, going to be different colors placed in different locations. They do not like paintings that are have high brush strokes or are drawn fast, um, which is why I'm sitting here, even though I finished a very simple drawing. And they don't like a lot of color complexity, you know, maybe five colors at the max, keeping in mind that the blank canvas um, counts as a color. So if you play this game casually, casually, trying to please the minimalists, is a nightmare like you draw stuff you think it's totally different and they come and say oh i want something original and again it's you try different shapes and structures but really what they're looking for is just do you have much of the same color in the same location so even if it's like a totally different painting with totally different shapes and stuff in a different spot do you overall have some you know in the huge backlog of all the paintings you've done before are there, you know, are the bulk of the colors in the same spot? And so I've found a couple different ways to quickly draw some easy paintings that gives us a lot of variety. Uh, and there's a couple different ways. And what I've settled on recently is the three dot structure. This gives us the mo a lot of color complexity without going over the limits um, of having, you know, more than five colors, which I think doesn't work well for a lot of them it um is easy to draw <laughs> and uh it allows you you know to just kind of mindlessly go through this and you can see we're already just racking up the kills and so further i've come up with a way that lets us have unique colors in in, in different spots each time so what i do is i go down the list and i we're gonna do each three of each color in a column as a trifecta so here I'm using dark brown, light brown, and, and tan. And we'll wait a little bit. So this, this is a weird one where they really like you to go slow, so they pay you more. So then what I'm going to do is do the same thing, except start with the second color down the column and continue in order. So we'll do this one, then this, and then this one. And then you can see this allows us, the way they overlap is perfect, because notice here, like we have this tan and on our first painting it was in this bottom right but here this brown is perfectly covering up so we don't have any colors overlapping a spot where it was before this will thusly make it a very unique painting in the eyes of these nerds and again sometimes you just strike out you can see he just said unimaginative and like so, like yeah it was like i was seeing this before so we're just going to move on the different colors and, you know, sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't. In fact, actually, I think it usually works better than that. Um, and sometimes you don't. I, I don't know how that one was uh, unoriginal because they're totally different colors. I don't have a good answer. I 
think you want to wait at least 10 seconds before selling any of these. So now here's something new. We're going to now delete one of these paintings because they'll just keep looking at it and wasting their time. So we'll try these sets of colors, see if we have a bit more luck. Uh, you can see the, the punks, you know, they don't, they don't love it. And so this is this is kind of a tricky situation where it's like you want to take a long time to praise the minimalist, but if you know, in their very picky nature, they think it is repetitive. Okay, he likes that one. Let's go. Maybe I'll flop this over on the other side. Then you waste a lot of time for nothing. But again, the system works pretty well for me. See, he's he's happy with it. Okay, I rolled down not worth it so I think I need to wait a little bit longer I need to let these little cook because we're getting some low bids uh, I need to remember I don't need to sell the most paintings I need to eventually sell like 2500 worth or something like that see he's he's pretty happy with that one. Oh, okay and another thing about colors there's a lot again so I might post a guide with the research. You can get away with like the same pattern. They don't recognize pattern. It's just you have different colors in different spots. So I'm using this pattern to help guide me. But as long as you mix up the colors, you, you notice like we sold the same basic three just mixed around, right? So there's a lot of misconceptions on like Steam guides about what they're looking for. Some of them say you cannot use bright colors. There are different uh, minimalists. I don't know if you've noticed, and, and I'll try to highlight it next time that they show up. But when they uh, show up, they, they each actually have their own name, and they have different things that they're looking for. And as far as I can tell, it's mostly color preferences. So if one of these nerds comes up and is like, "Ick," talks about, mention anything that has not, not ha mentions anything besides originality, that's just a hint that they're upset with the colors. And some one of the other uh, minimalist critics can come along and might like it just fine. So let's see if old Sniffly here see what he thinks uh, he's just gonna he's just gonna waffle around please don't block it punk yeah he's like this is similar but that's Renaud see, uh, just to point out that they they all have different names so this um my three circle attack is actually surprisingly whiffing for me <laughs> I've been testing it a lot uh, and it hasn't been going through. Maybe if this goes south speed run wise, I might just like show other ways you can uh, kind of mix up your colors. But yeah, it's basically different colors in different locations. He also might have thought this one was not unique because this one was already made. And so it was comparing it to these two. So one of them will count. I don't know. A little bit slow. But yeah, I, th I thought that the three dot system was was invincible. Maybe one size smaller. Mm. Nothing to do but to wait. <laughs> These guys are not happy with this stuff. mix it up maybe maybe I'll have to go with some some more wild plays and there's different ways to mix up the shapes let's get some blues see loves it 69 nice so the one on the left I think he hates the other two I don't know his feelings about so this one yes you're mad I want something fresh that's how I'm mad <laughs> That's how I like to think they sound. Hold on. Got my kids good. The other green? Okay, see, so you see, we just sold the two greens that we varied the way we did before. And he was okay with it. Oh, please like this one. Oh, yeah, so notice he didn't like the one on the left, but he did on the right. Yeah. 
Sometimes the bare minimum is just perfect. Unimaginative. So I would delete that to get it out of the way. He loves it, dude. Um, but you can't delete it while they're looking at it. So I don't want to maximize my time here. And again, they're just—they're just gonna be mad. I'm watching the clock. You get—you. I like to give it a good 15 seconds, probably more. But yeah, I think at some point I need to like. I don't know how I'm gonna test this. It might take cheat engine and save file, but just like for the very first painting, do the exact same thing and different amounts of paint time and graph it. Ooh, if I get to make a graph in Excel, I mean, sign me up. Let's delete this. Finally. He's into it, dude. Dun -da -da -da. So yeah, we're basically going to do this until we get to Act 3, where it's going to be like this, but even they're going to be even snootier about their stupid paintings. And the game really leans into like calling these people nerds, like the, oh, oh we have to start this over, basically. That's okay, this is, we have to go slow anyway. Like all the NPCs refer to them as nerds. Perfect. Like the ocean. Like I know you guys are gonna just eat this stuff up. So you see it's kind of weird, like um, how we've been kind of going through with these patterns and sometimes they just say nah, and then sometimes they say yay. They say yay more often than not. I would like to hold both of these here as long as I can to give this time to juice enough. That's probably enough. Okay, do not forget. <laughs> This one on the top left. They got good little nerdy giggles. I'm into that. Okay, we're at 20. Let's go to 35. This does not feel like a world record. That's okay. We got some, like, Bob Ross energy. Let's go to 40. It, it, they, they really pay more for it. like to get these up to the hundreds. So there's one thing we could try, it's risky, but they do... So here's uh, just one thing, dear listener, I have not wrapped my head around. You can get away, and you probably have thought of this, or if you've tried it, uh, if you've played this game, you can just like give a blank canvas or a single color canvas and sometimes it goes gangbusters and sometimes it doesn't and i have not figured out what the variables are I, i've tried painting it really slow letting it sit a long time sometimes it just doesn't work too eccentric okay perfect example this is not being flagged for being too Unoriginal, he just, that dude just do not like them colors. So, we do not need to delete it. We just have to wait for someone who is just a little, a little more into the purple. But yeah, so sometimes, like, you can put a blank canvas and it'll just sell for hundreds. And then the other times, it's either, like, it sells very well or it sells for zero. So I do not, if I can crack that nut. That might be the next thing for me to look into. If I can crack that nut, that might be a way uh, to greatness. Dude, it's, we've been chasing the, the blank canvas meta for decades now. How much is that selling for? 92. That's We're getting up there. That's 
wait till 45 on this one. Or let's let's put this up as late as we can and try to sell it to this guy before he takes off. I want that other guy to walk away. I'm trying to manipulate the NPCs in ways that I really can't. Love it. Okay, so now I'm gonna try going across the colors, across the the row columns, because I've I've basically have done every combination three up, three down of these different ones. We skipped a couple in the middle. We, I think on one of the greens, we're having trouble getting them like it. So I'm just going to try this combination, and then this combination, this one, and then this one, and this one, and we're just going to go all the way. Um, essentially, the name of the game is as we get later. I guess we should just check this, see if he uh, likes it or not. We start running out of color combinations. We have to make it more Or you're thinking, why'd you have to go and make things so complicated? Don't know. All right, let's see if this nerdlet will he buy. This determines if I'm going to let this one sit a little bit more or try again. He absolutely loves it. Okay, so we just kind of do our <coughs> rotation here. I'm actually, I'm going to wait for him. Yeah, I'm going to wait as long as I can. Because I want him to get up and free up looking at that spot. Maybe we were too late. Let's give this one a good... Let's go to 42. I want to I wanna go long on this one. Let's see if we can get like 42 minutes. Let's see if we can get a real big price. Do a little on-the-fly experimenting. Okay, I lied. I can't wait the 42. I'm dying. I will do... Well, no one's here. We've done it. And now we'll just continue down our combination. not having it. He's simply not. We wait till 40 on this one? 40 seconds? So yeah, you know, this is like some luck. There's no critics, uh, uh, no minimalists, but then again, like, don't we want it to cost more? Oh, we waited so long on that one. Okay, that means we burned a bunch of time. I'll leave it up. There's sometimes, I think, a chance that Different critics will like. Oh man, he's just—he's not liking anything. So you can see this is this is a real problem. Do I have to just yolo it already? Oh, you know what? Let's let's stick to our guns. He says as he confusedly tries to figure out. Again, the. Uh, the three dot systems really failed us. I do not think technically one of these has not been deemed fresh or not. Okay. <laughs> I think they both have now. now let's try a salvage. Yeah. Oops. Let's start over. Okay. This might be a. Uh, this might be a ripperoni. Have both of these been gone? I forget. This might be a ripperoni pepperoni. But I don't know if we'll. 
continue or not. It's kind of a little bit more trouble than normal, but if I do, or if I don't, so at least we'll give you tools to, to blitz through part one and to, to start messing around with part two. Or maybe I'll just suck it up and go to part three. Let's show what that's like. Uh, let's have to mix up my colors a little bit more. <clears throat> I don't know. See if he likes anything. See, he likes that. Yeah, just, just, just go. I like the ice. I feel like that's very ice cream colors. Yeah, he does like that one. To go back and reflect. I don't know if. Oh man, saved. The selling coming through. Yellow, green, green. That's what we're doing here today. But we did orange, green, green. So that means we do green. Is this green? I've confused myself in how I have put the colors together. But, uh, what you gonna do? Juan, thank you so much. That was the green, blue, light orange. It's green, so I could start at light blue. Just kind of thinking through the patterns. Though I think I got a little lost in the sauce about what combinations I've used and which ones I haven't. That's okay, man. That's the skill. At this point, let's see if we can get to Act 3 in under an hour. Can you tell me if you like it, mister? That old, that old man's gotta go. Predictable. I think you, we knew you didn't like that from long ago. But I'll never be sure. But you're down, you're down with that. Ghost, go away. I want to look at that. So ghosts, I haven't talked about ghosts. They show up in different acts. Um, they're very specific criteria, and if you meet them and sell it to them, you get their hats, which is cool. Um, something I have not bothered with. See, it freed up that, the uh, waiting for the ghosts freed up that thing, which was exactly the plan. Up. We can start with baby blue at the top. We'll call him. Unimaginative. How is it unimaginative? Okay, he might find this unimaginative too, so we'll just wait the 10 seconds. And start a different color combo. That's all you can do. Usually what I do is I finish the painting and then I look at the timer and go at least an extra 10 seconds. And I looked at my phone so we went longer, but that's fine because longer is more money. Again, I feel like this game should have a very casual speedrunning attitude. Put a little more effort, mate. 
is how I've, I've voiced the French Cynthia. So it's an inspired choice. Okay, what do you what do you like here? Oh, you do that to me, dude. <laughs> how could you say it was predictable? How could you say that? If I start mixing my... Yeah, it's all predictable now. It's really falling apart. So I think the one on the left was predictable. The one on the right is... Okay. Ghost, I wanted to delete that. Sorry, I'm trying to delete it. Oh my god, he hates it all. Uh, so, I mean, this is very quickly... Just demonstrating how hard this can be. And uh, how we'll do green, orange, red. Just to get something on the board. Okay, I think you hated this. Do you hate everything here? Far right's ugly to him. There you go. Oh, I've seen this before. No, dude. <laughs> Trash. He's happy with that one. So what you can do, and what I normally don't have to pull out of the bag this early in the game, is make four dots, and, and then that's like a way to, to mix it up even more, but I, I kind of save that for when, usually I'm a little bit farther, <laughs> and, and they start calling me out in Act 3. So I think I might do for this video, because it's looking like that old world record is out of grasp. So we'll struggle along, get to Act 3, and then maybe call it, because this will give you the skills you need if, you know, where you, you were using this as a guide. To, uh, I don't know, put this in the middle? It's really just mixing it up. Do a little bit of different symbology here. Ooh, maybe that's a way to mix it up. We gotta look into that. Uh, yeah, as anyway, this is this will get you the Act 3 A-OK -okay without too much trouble. He loves it. 94, we risked it for the biscuit. What colors did we use here? I think we put gray down here. And then this up here. And put it up here. Yeah, so at this point, just rotate the colors around. Love that one. Rotate them around. So the old way I used to do it, which I think you can see in one of my videos, is just drawing uh, a striped canvas, which is two colors. So just like left column, one color, two, and just like switching them back and forth and then just going through all the different combinations. Dude, is this the new meta? Orange. Dark purple. What I call burgundy. this picture with Andy. We don't need you right now. So you can see actually um, this is this is a good learning experience for me as well. So there's a, there's this tension between if you sit on it the painting sells for more but also takes more time. But what I'm kind of learning here kind of firsthand is that um it's kind of risky to sit on it for a long time because if you misjudge how original it is and then it's not liked, then that's time wasted. So I'm starting to think the true fast way is to crank them out as fast as possible. Because then if you whiff, that, that really hits you a lot less hard. He's into that. Let's 
Let's get a pink in here. You don't don't see enough pinks. This is a painting you can look at, but don't be shy. But if anyone does watch this, apologies. Uh, I've, this is my kind of first commentary, and uh, I learned a couple lessons. One, probably leave the music in, because <laughs> that probably sounds like, oh, we made attack three, and I didn't pay attention. So notice everyone was freezing. That's because they were waiting for me to finish the painting. And so I could have noticed that a couple seconds earlier. And we are on to Act 3. So, for everyone here, I hope this gives you a little bit of, you know, a, a little bit of uh, some simple tools you can use to get through the first act uh, and then to make it on to the second act and eventually on to the third. It's kind of mixing it up the way that we did today. Um, I'm going to go ahead and see if I can do Act 3 kind of speedily. If I can, that means you're going to see this video is going to keep going on. And if it's not, it means I tried recording it and it probably just didn't fail. So look out for more in the future. A-Rex out. Unless you hear me still talking, which means I'm still recording. <laughs> and we're going to go for Act 3. But, but I did an outro just in case, um, you know, things got wild. Have you seen this before? You can see how challenging this is. We might have to switch over the four colors kind of early. Because we did get a little beat up in Act 2. Lacks integrity. Oh, okay. So Hans, this is this is what we're doing. Hans, he is a, a he is the nerd of the nerds. He just likes yeah. He wants black and white paintings and doesn't like anything else. It's not worth appealing to him. Just ignore Hans. Hans, Hans is a garbage man. I get no pleasure in saying that, but it's it's true. Let's try some really gross combinations. The thing that happens, we're not. You're telling me these aren't fresh? So, oh, okay, again, that's Hans. He's not necessarily calling this unoriginal. He's just like, it's got too many colors. So if you could look at this thing, you want something fresh. Okay, so that is not uh -huh. original. You know what? You can take it because, okay, I want something fresh. Really struggling. So what we're going to do is move on to the four dot system and go from there. If that doesn't work, probably just a little, just lost at C. Again, the exact science about what these people are looking ah. for is, is still pretty tricky to me. I'll show you what I used to do. I, I don't know if this will work now. Because we use this drawing tool. Draw just two columns, two different colors, and what I would do is just mix up those colors. But I don't think it's going to work. Okay, one on the right confirmed bad. <laughs> yeah, but what about this one in the middle? That this garbage man's looking at. Yeah. Cannot have it. What do you guys think of that one? So he loves it. Is this the Renaissance? the two stripe system or maybe in conjunction with the dots one thinks we might learn something today because again it's about what colors are dominant where so maybe we have to rotate through i don't know this is learning i know that the world record is an hour 17 and the idea of beating this in the next 17 minutes seems daunting but who knows Let's get this gross tan. If he likes that next striped, I think we're in the money, honestly. Kind of dark blue. Mm -hmm. oh. 
it's just that easy. Okay, so that was, let me try to um, reverse engineer. Cause if we, so here's the cool trick you can do. That was like, which blue? You can then just do like the other side and then like that counts as a fresh painting, typically. Because I've, I've tried this before. When I used stripe methodology back in the day, you just flip it and that should be enough to be unique. Not always. Again, that's why there's this exact science part I'm not exactly getting, but often. Oh, and then, if that one works, we have another trick up our sleeves, which I'll save for later. Let's try burgundy. And baby blue. But then it's just about what color is where. Okay, that worked. Yo, this is working. I think the mix-up map. So let's let's try this for science. Now what I should be able to do is go vertical stripes. Uh -huh. Benjamin. This should count his new. I'm not gonna spend too much time on it because I could be wrong. Burgundy and baby blue. Benjamin, you're a garbage man. Oh yeah, and, and by the way, I haven't talked about these tools. This was the standard one we've been using the whole time. Spray paint we touched about. This is like a slow draw tool. So that you have low brush velocity, which is usually what you want. I'm feeling dark brown. The stripe meta is so good. And an orange? Yeah. Okay, so I think next time we get in trouble an early switch between different styles. Um, I guess I'm surprised because I've tried this pivot before and I didn't have this much success. But, um, you know, look at me now. You wanna look at that one right away? No? What side was the orange on? Left, okay, so now we're gonna do the orange on the other side. Much like always, sometimes like they'll find these, you know, horizontally flip flop things not original for no reason when it works a million times, and it's just it's confusing. I like to put them over here, just because like they tend to bump into you <laughs> if you put them in this little spot by your little worlds. Uh, and clip into you and it gets annoying. Now, how about pink? There are a couple of them that hate pink. Oh, the stripe meta. I think it's possible we could like hustle this one out, but I don't know. <laughs> Which blue did we do? Was it this blue? Take a look at that one. Now we on the other side. Zoop. Oh wow, that's one of the most accurate splits. Like he's about to look at it. He's good. Do we, was it we had spots on top of the stripes? Okay, so this is just color complaining. Don't you worry your little heart about that. Yeah. 
someone else will buy that up, see? This is going very well. <laughs> okay, gray and purple. Go make sure we get a little over the 10 second threshold. Again, problematic just means he does not like the colors. So he can just get bent. So here it would really behoove me to keep track of what colors I've used for the stripes. Yellow and this blue, that's a weird blue. I don't Yellow and weird blue. These are going for insane prices, by the way. Yellow. Like, uh. Yeah, so he's just mad about color. Someone else will buy it. So, yeah, like, so I'm doing. You can be more creative in your paintings. This is just weird speedrun strats. Um, you don't have to do the same exact pattern every time. I'm just doing it for simplicity, but this gives you something to fall back on. Um, cause I've watched a lot of videos of people just spinning their wheels and remember it's different blotches of color on different parts of the map, of the map of the canvas. Um, do I finally use black? Tan. Two hundred, that's really high. Tan man, the black and tan. Uh oh, didn't like that. Creative block, I believe, is one of the unoriginal quotes. One thing I forgot: canvas white is a color. Have you seen this before? Um, almost certainly not, dude. Have I done red stripes? Okay, this is where a more systematic approach to help you keep track of what you've done will be very good. He loves it. Could do black on the other side next time. Red and light brown. Let's try black. On this side, so I don't I don't know what that means. I'm not gonna lie, I don't know what that means. <laughs> uh, that was the one they didn't like anyway. You can yeah, you can have. It. Oh, actually, I I don't know. That might have been okay. I think honestly, let's just do a hail mary play here. Single color canvas. We're just running out of ideas. I would really let this one simmer. Yeah, listen, okay. <laughs> I want to hit you with one of these. He hits a zero. Okay. Let's 
think I... I think I think I am very tired and lack the energy to, to finish this. So I'll try this thing, and if, if this isn't liked, I think we'll just boohoo ourselves out of here. Try again tomorrow, but... Bye.